Vivo launched a premium mid-range offering, the Vivo V11 Pro, with all the bells and whistles of a flagship. But can it beat its rival, the Honor Play, in a speed test? Let's find out in this video. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Arvind from Ellipsis and here is our speed test between the Vivo V11 Pro and the Honor Play. Before moving on, let's quickly check the specs of these phones. The Vivo V11 Pro comes with a Snapdragon 660 processor and a 6GB RAM and the Honor Play comes with a Kirin 970 processor and 4 or 6GB RAM. Currently, I'm using the 4GB version of the Honor Play. With everything out of the way, let's get started. Both phones have no apps in memory and both phones have been updated to the latest software update. I have a few apps and games chosen for this test. With all set, let's start with the dialer and it was faster on the Honor Play. Moving on to WhatsApp. I guess both were uh, on par, so neck and neck, so we'll move on to messages. And here uh, the Honor Play is clearly the winner and uh, moving on to the Google Chrome. We have the Honor Play loading up the GSM Marina page first and both, both of them are quite smooth so no problems there but then uh, the Honor Play with its bigger internals loaded that first. Moving on to camera, again I believe uh, that was loaded first on the Vivo V11 Pro. Moving on to YouTube, that again loaded faster on the Honor Play. So moving on to calendar. And this surprisingly was loaded fast on the Vivo V11 Pro. Moving on to Instagram. Again, uh, faster on the Honor Play, but then that was very, very slight. So moving on to Facebook. And again, I believe that was faster on the Honor Play again. So we'll again quickly move on to the next app on the list that is Twitter. Okay, that was really faster on the Honor Play. And uh, let's move on to the top of the feeds. And again, uh, the Honor Play loaded all the content first for uh, Twitter. So that's a great win for the Honor Play. Moving on to the first game in our list today. That's the Asphalt 9. And the Honor Play takes some time after you click the app. It takes some time to load the particular application but then but then let's wait and see if it loads the application faster and yes it did load it faster thanks to the ufs 2.1 and uh, the kiran 970 processor that's uh, one hell of a processor so the gaming clearly is better on uh, the on a play so moving on to prime video I believe the Honor Play was uh, so slightly faster, so and uh, moving on, we have Zomato, again uh, that was neck and neck and uh, I couldn't pick up a winner but then we'll move on to the Play Store, again both loaded uh, the app at the same time so no winners here as well, so let's move on with the next one. That's the setting app and uh, settings was really faster on the Vivo V11 Pro. Uh, and then moving on to clock, that was again faster on the Vivo V11 Pro. So moving on to the second game on our list, that's the Subway Surf. It seems to be faster on the Vivo V11 Pro. Let's find out. Yes, it is faster on the Vivo V11 Pro. So. That's one win for uh, the Vivo V11 Pro. Let's move on with the next item. Google Maps. Again, faster on the Honor Play. And moving to our last app of the list, that is Snapseed. Again, both were uh, uh, neck and neck, so there's no winner here. So we have completed the first round and it seems that the Honor Play loaded everything faster. Let's move on to the memory management test. Starting with the dialer. Again, both were in memory, so that's a good thing. And we'll move on to WhatsApp. Again, WhatsApp was also in memory. Moving on to messages. Again, uh, Honor Play had to clearly load it, but uh, Vivo V11 had it in memory. And uh, for Chrome, both had that in memory. So moving on to camera. Again, camera was in memory for the Vivo V11 Pro. The Honor Play had to reload that. Moving on to YouTube. Again, the Honor Play had to reload that. And moving on to the calendar, both were in memory. 
Moving on to Instagram, again both are in memory, that's a good thing. Uh, moving on to Facebook, again I believe both had to reload, they didn't have it uh, at the same time. So, And uh, moving on to Twitter, both were in memory. So moving on to the game, that's the Asphalt 9. Uh, yeah, so the Honor Play had to reload it and uh, the Vivo V11 Pro managed to keep it in memory. So that's a good sign for the Vivo V11 Pro. Moving on to the Prime Video. Again, Prime Video is also in memory for the V11 Pro. And uh, for Zomato, again, the Honor Play, it had to reload the entire app. Moving on to the Play Store. Again, the same uh, sign, the Honor Play had to reload it. And uh, Settings. Again, Settings, both were in memory. Moving to Clock. Again, the Honor Play had to reload that. Moving to the Subway Surf game. Again, uh, the Honor Play had to reload it. The Vivo V11 Pro managed to keep both the games in memory. So that's a very good sign and a great uh, optimization from Vivo. Moving on to the maps. Again, the maps were in memory for the V11 Pro and uh, moving on to Snapseed, both are in memory. So I know this isn't a fair test because the Honor Play that I'm having here is of a 4GB variant. So Still, I want to showcase how well the Vivo V11 Pro fares and uh, keeps all these apps in memory. So there you go. The Honor Play was faster in opening apps and games for the most part, but as it had only 4GB RAM, it did not do well in the RAM management. But the Vivo V11 Pro, the one that we have in Spotlight, does not lag in terms of app opening time, but then it did great with the RAM management, keeping almost all the apps in memory. That's good optimization from Vivo and the Fanta choice. So that's all we have for this video. So talk to you guys in the next one. Arvind signing off. Bye-bye.